And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Shen to kick off the day. We're going to be going back to four decks today. Hopefully we can get them um, all in. They should all be pretty good decks too. They're all donation decks and all decks that we've played before, all successful decks. Starting with Fiora Shen, that's our first one. We're going to have Scout Aggro, Teemo Burn, and Swiftfoot Ramp coming up after this. I'm playing them all in ranked, so hopefully we have a, a pretty decent rank up day today. This deck is really, really solid, this first one that we're starting with here with Fiora, Shen. These two champions are very good. Fiora, of course, can win games on her own, just needs to be able to kill four enemies, and the deck is designed to help enable Fiora as much as possible with a good amount of spells. We have a, a pretty good top end here too, playing, you know, the Bright Steel Formation, three Cythrias, a Swiftwing Lancer, so pretty heavy top end in this. Not as many four mana spells as you sometimes see in these kind of decks, only two Repost, one Spirit's Refuge to go along with the Denies, and of course we're gonna be playing Deny and Nopify in here. Uh, Chevalier can create some more challengers, and then even a Relentless Pursuit to attack again. So we'll give this a try. I think Shen's just a, a champion that's very underrated. Y'all know if you've been watching the channel for a long time how much I like playing Shen decks. One of my favorite champions to play, and it's a very, very strong champion. So uh, Barrier is a good keyword. And uh, yeah, let's give this a try. So we're gonna go play our five games in ranked. And let's get some good records today. Okay, looks like we're going to be playing against Tom Kench Soraka to start with. It's been a little bit since we played against Tom Kench Soraka. Looking at our opening hand, I don't really like it that much, honestly. I think I'll keep Repost, but I want to find my champions. I like how Repost can help um, some cards trade up. Because, of course, them having Tom Kench and Soraka, those are two champions that start with six health. So we need more power to try to kill them. So I want to save Bright Seal Protector for Fiora. I'm looking at, like, right here, I'm looking at, like, turn two doing nothing. Turn three playing Fiora. Um, and then turn four having five mana. Or six mana, sorry. Sorry, turn four having six mana. So I meant to say, and being able to play Repost and Bright Steel Protector both. I'm not afraid. This is a wee bit late. They could pass. I do have a backup Fiora. Hmm. Because if I if I do nothing, they pass. Hmm. I guess. I've got your back. I guess I gotta do this. Cause I can't I can't pass priority and then they just end the turn. Oh. Right, like that would be it. That would have been a nightmare if I would have just done that. Then I would have played just nothing. By my honor, you must die. It's not the best setup for me, though. Obviously, Hush. Yeah, like Hush is the card that is problematic. I'll go ahead and pass the turn. By the power yeah. of the stars. Just level up Soraka on turn five whenever they play it. To know so much about stars, Soraka. Well, it's a long story. The eye of twilight sees all. By starlight. Who you wish, Gruff? Live with purpose. Take heart. Counter and strike! So definitely hoping no hush, but it's kind of likely. But hopefully not. Alright, no hush. Alright, that's the first barrier for Shen to see. Pablo's been down! Let his knee out! We're all family here. So I go. Try me. Nature blesses her followers. 
So of course I don't want to attack with the seven two because they just traded with the two four. I don't I don't want to make that trade. I understand. And yeah, like they want their Soraka damaged. Six. I hope this works. I mean, Astral Protection and Bastion both stop this. And now a now a guiding touch does, and yep, of course they have that. Live with purpose. That's very bad for me. Now it's going to be a lot more healing to get to do. Be at peace. Because I, I wanted to get Fiora the kill. If I if I went with the seven two, I couldn't get Fiora the kill. I would do the same thing again. Well, that was. They could have just won the game. If they didn't play. If they would have just waited and played that afterwards, they would have just won the game. I think they still have won this game, though. Doesn't look... Because now, now I have to kill this thing. Okay. Yep, that's game. Learn, change, re -engage. Okay, got it. our first Zoe deck today. Zoe with Yasuo. So we're gonna try to use. Looks like they're trying to use the power of um, Zoe with Yasuo. Alright, I'm getting all of that top end. Looking for some cheaper cards. I am one with the land. Who goes there? Okay, good. No Zoe so far. But they could definitely play Zoe right here and then have a two-mana spell to kind of protect it. They would fall by my blade. Nopify is a good draw. The dark beckons. So Pill Cascade is obviously what they're gonna do. I can't stop Pill Cascade, so I do not want to make that trade. Two worlds, one balance. Night falls. That's a good draw. Intruders, try me. Nature blesses her followers. It's too late for you. Seems like a pretty good use of Nopify. I don't know if, what else, you know, like, don't know exactly what Nopify is going to be doing, but seems like a pretty good use right there. Okay. Rock 
thing is strange. Stay back. I'll just block here. Obviously, I could sharp sight the Fiora, um, but I don't really, don't really need to do that. Not really in any rush to do that. So they're spending, you know, like they're just spending four mana of removal on my one mana card. Sorry, excuse me there. Love that draw. I sense an imbalance. For the honor of Holga. Cool. That's fine with me. We're gonna be able to draw another spell with the River Shaper. Be able to replay the dragon. A gift from the river folk. River shape the land and give it life. All right, so we got lots of repose. Engulf them. Expecting a barrier here on this River Shaper. No, no barrier. They just want to draw a spell. I have no equal. What form will the waters take? The waters are still. Okay, we're halfway there with Fiora. Number three. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking here is obviously I could go Shen, Barrier the Fiora, challenge the, the Tasty Fey Folk. But I think that they would use... <clears throat> That's like the obvious play. But if, I think if I do that... <clears throat> sorry, I think if they if I do that, they, they're going to use... Like, they're a Yasuo deck. They're going to use a Stun card or a Will of Ionia. They're going to use something like that to remove the Fiora. But if I set it up like this... Okay, maybe I, maybe I should have thrown the two Sharp Sights out there first to put Lethal on them. No, I'm still fine. Basically, what I was thinking is if I set it up like that, maybe they use the Stun or Recall on, like, my Screeching Dragon or on the Fiora afterwards. And then I go stand united and switch the spots afterwards, and then have have something going on. The balance will decide your fate. I don't know. I was trying. I was thinking that maybe maybe that stand united could have been good, but I guess I, I probably should have like this Shen's about to level. Up. I I should have just gone for lethal though. I should have just you know like they're at three. I should have just you know played one spell to level up Shen and put him on lethal, but that's alright. Especially with drawing this deny, I don't know how they're going to survive. I was going to say that Singular Will was their best card they could have, and we had to deny for it. Alright, back to another Zoe deck, this time with Aurelian Soul and Demacia. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do here. <clears throat> Um, the question is, do you gain more experience when you win than when you lose? It's, you do, yes, you gain more until you get to platinum. Once you get to platinum, 
And then in Platinum, Diamond, and Masters, you, you gain the same as, as you lose. It's the, the exact same in Platinum, Diamond. You, you gain 20 if you win, lose 20 if you lose. Uh, do not like double Scythria. So he's going to be able to hit me twice. Or I'll have anything for it. At least I didn't play the other super cool star charts. So they didn't gain an additional card. Strength and grace, beauty. So they're just they just have um, the one super cool star chart. Sunlight guided my brethren. By playing the Shen, I am opening up the opportunity for, like, you know, like, they have, like, this invoke card, so it could be, like, the six mana obliterate invoke. So it's possible I should just play the River Shaper. No, because if it's the deal four, deal one, and I play the River Shaper, I don't want River Shaper to be a two one. So maybe I just do this. But then, you know, like, a Pale Cascade, they trade. Isn't the easiest decision. I think I think playing Shen's the best decision. Not an easy call though. Okay, yep, it was the deal four, deal one. This will be quick. Everything I've worked for. Wow. I guess it makes sense to attack here if they want to block and... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, it makes sense to attack. The more we learn, the less we fear. River shape the land and give it life. <laughs> yeah, our last opponent... We played against Zoe last round. Our, our opponent did not have Zoe. These woods protect and their own. It was better for us. This opponent does have Zoe. And they've, they've had two Zoes. And looks like they are now very wary of Sharp Sight. Soldier to me! Why am I not attacking with Scythria also? It's like I, I thought like they just can't attack because it's hushed. Yeah, why am I not just attacking with that card? Playing Fiora over Cithria allows me to have Spirit's Refuge and Sharp Sight available. Right, so I don't need Sharp Sight. Let's go with the Stand United. We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. Okay, so we do get to draw a card with a strike. Waters are still. So I know it gets the fearsome, but I still think it's worth challenging Zoe instead of attacking for four. Yeah, I was certainly expecting that. No, no. 
So that's that is their second hush that they've used now. So that's good that we've gone through two hushes already. We even fought through three hushes. You fought with honor. Bior Shen's very good. Go hard. Wonder what, what this matchup's usually like. Scythria can be really important with that fearsome. So I guess I keep Scythria. I kinda wanna keep all of these cards. Yeah, we want we want big units. And we have we have like a good start here with the caretaker protector. And then big units with Screeching Dragon Cythria. Nopify would definitely be great to have, but there's only two in the deck. It's I don't I don't want to just give I don't want to just like throw away good cards to look for like Nopify because like like Repost not a very good card here. Or right? like it's four mana. The barrier is not too difficult for them to get rid of. That one's not going to be as good of a card. You poor thing. My duty's done. Two worlds, one balance. They could have vengeance, but that would you know that would tap up tap them out. They could go vengeance here. And yeah, so I, I did think about that. I thought about like I could wait and then have deny available, um, but well, that's a it's a good good mana turn for us. You know, I still have, like these other big threats. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Yeah, we'll we'll be able to to deny stuff. We don't have to worry about. Getting deny value. We'll get deny value. The question is, do I play stuff before combat? And if so, what? River shape the land and give it life. My answer is gonna be yes, I'm gonna play River Shaper. I have six mana, so I have two cards available here. I'd prefer to draw Nopify right there. I've whipped up something special. So this is the very first go hard they've played. So I could deny it. They'd only have two left in their deck. Otherwise, I you know I could just play Sharp Sight and keep my River Shaper alive. I kind of think I want to do that. If I if I had another if I had like a nope you know obviously if I had nopeify I would use that. But even even if I had like two if I had like two denies in hand I would probably I probably like if this was like deny deny and then sharp sight I'm probably denying instead of sharp sight um, because then I have a realistic way to get rid of a second go hard. 
also uh, very quickly. Welcome back, Habo. A fair game. We're played one. Eyes open. So four mana. Bunch of things that can't block. Three, six, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I need a repost on something, and then I have a deny available. Adam. Thank you so much. Good day. I say good day. Thank you so much for that resub. Five months now. And everybody getting the hype boats in the chat. There is assistant. So I have I have a counter for Vengeance. They've already played one Vengeance. And we can stop another. That still kills them. So, there we go. GG's. Good job, Fearsome Cythria. And we drew a Nopify. Alright, we're three and one. There we go. And we got Go Hard again for game number five. So we'll see if it plays out as well as it did at that last game. That game played out really well for us, that last game did. Alright, Chevalier's not a large unit. Um, we're going to keep Nopify, of course. We're going to keep Screeching Dragon, which is a large unit. Yep, channel point prediction open. I pull the strings. These woods protect their own. We could use a bite. Yeah, so I decided not to not to try to trade with Elise because you know Elise attacking does make those one ones, which are good for Fiora. They would fall by my um, we do have the extra mana that I, I did have the ability to just get Green Glade Caretaker in play, but you know I don't want to I don't want to try to kill the one one because I'm going to be challenging the one one with Fiora. All right, so the first go hard has been stopped. Strike, quick, strike. They potentially have two more in their deck. So young. <laughs> Ballistic Bot cracks you up. Yeah, Ballistic Bot is... He... Ballistic Bot has good voice lines, but I wish that Ballistic Bot didn't talk so much. Because Ballistic Bot will say a voice line at the beginning of the turn whenever you create the... whatever it's called. The one mana card. My true beauty is beneath the skin. And then also again uh, whenever you cast it. And then also again whenever it resolves. So it just says three voice lines every single turn. And that's a little bit much. Dragon. 
I have not been impressed with Vile Feast and Go Hard. You know, like, I'm just, I'm not scared of these Vile Feasts. But it's just in general, just like people playing Vile Feast. I'm not really sure why they, they are. It just, it makes their Zap Spray Fin a lot worse. <clears throat> you know, drawing Vile Feast. They can play a bunch of Vile Feast, that's fine with me. Dead in their tracks. Water changes, but never breaks. Yeah, they're they're trying to be aggressive. That's why they're going gold gold card. They're trying to be real aggressive here. Strike, we will reform. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, Shen. Darn, I do not get to Shen and Protector and Sharp Side and Single Combat. We're one short of all that. So I can do I can do three. I get to do three things. So basically it's either Shen or Screeching Dragon. Um, and I, I think that's Shen. I think Shen's probably a little better for us right here. And now I can do two of two of these three with single combat protector and sharp sight. Well, I guess I played into that. I suppose. Not not that bad though. Yeah. My shield is yours. Protect and strike. Uh, R River Shaper was a 2-1 before. Now it's, you know, then turned into a 2-2. Two -two. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. It was either... It was either a 2-1 or a 1-2. I'm pretty sure River Shaper was a 2-1. Yeah. So that's going to be their first go hard. Cast. Unfortunately, I don't have a, you know, I don't have another Nova Fire Deny. Have our other two mana spells. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. Okay, they obliterate once because they had. So now they have three in their deck, but then they just obliterate once. Now they have two in their deck. <clears throat> so they've played one, and they have two more. I'm not expecting another ruination. I'm not really playing around another ruination. Hmm. I guess that'd be a reason not to get a 9-9 in play, I suppose. So I could kill the 2-2 two -two and then and then like challenge the Ledros and keep the Ledros alive. But I think if they're I'm not expecting that much direct damage from them, so if they're if they're spending like another nine mana and just playing Ledros again, and then I can Surge Strike and kill this Ledros. I know I go down to three, but I do like clear the board and then get to open attack. That's my worst spell in my deck to draw. Out of all of them. Really would, would prefer like deny or something like that. Let's do this. Currents pull them down. Okay, well now it turned into a good spell to draw. <laughs> when they're their spray fin drew a glimpse beyond because they only have the two go hards. A gift from the river folk. Where's Deny? I just basically got a counter of vengeance. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Oh. 
strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Yeah, it makes sense to play this. Keep up, keep up. So they don't have vengeance mana anymore. So I think that's game. Because like Withering Whale doesn't keep him alive. And obviously I have I have some pump spells too here. And there we go. Alright, four and one. Even with you know like the ruination and everything, but just had a whole bunch of vile fees that were not scary. As I expected. So like I said at the, the beginning, this deck is just really solid. This is a you know really good deck if you want to just you know play a good ranking up deck, getting a bunch of wins. Um, both Fiora and Shen, awesome champions. Shen is very underrated. Um, we got to see Scythria shine a little bit in the Go Hard matchup. Um, the two deny two Nopify were awesome. They were definitely cards that I was hoping to draw more of quite a bit, especially how we were playing against uh, Go Hard. There, those last couple of games, that's really what like their best kind of matchup. Um, and River Shaper is just amazing as well. Like this is like the unsung hero of this deck, drawing all those spells for you. Uh, we did draw. We mostly drew all sharp sights <laughs> with River Shaper, and then some single combats also. Those seemed to be the the only two spells we were drawing. Um, we didn't really get to do anything with Chevalier. It can, you know, help you not run out of gas, getting you more challengers. Uh, but we didn't really do anything with that or the Swiftwing Lancer. But, but um, there we go. Yeah, I, I, I would not, I would not recommend going three Nopify one deny. We, we've definitely played even recently a lot of matchups where Nopify doesn't have, like where it's just not very good like it just doesn't have targets these those last couple of games we played some very good notify matchups but you you can run into um, a bunch of like targon decks where all of their interaction is burst speed and, and your notify is just kind of sitting there and deny is just really important against ruination feel the rush vengeance um the even the invoke cards like your your six mana and nine mana obliterates um you really need some denies and um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend going three Nopify, one Deny. Definitely think you should keep at least two Deny. Um, but there we go. That's, that's Fiora Shen. So it says Lancer is for Zoe Lee. Just to give you another, another challenger. And Lancer being a challenger that can take down Lee. All right, well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. What do you think of Fiora Shen? Have you been playing Fiora Shen yourself? Do you think anything should change with the deck? Um, you know, anything like that. Like, how, how have you been enjoying this one? This one's still a very good deck. All right, but that's all I got here uh, for Fiora Shen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.